A few days before the Oshun gubernatorial election, the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwa Jubola Metinumbu, classified the People's Democratic Party, Labour Party, and others as a mushroom party that can't stand the wave of the ruling party, and this stirred mixed reactions both online and offline. Bola Metinumbu was so confident that the All Progressive Congress will repl replicate what it did in a kitty state in Oshun. But the reverse was the case. Indeed, every day is not Christmas and one doesn't always win. Honestly speaking, this is not only <laughs> APC people, or not only Tinumbu himself believed that uh, they were going to win. I, for one, I believe that they were going to win because based on what uh, the AKC people did, because they have weaponized the old people with poverty. So people tend to accept anything. And you cannot even vouch for anybody now because money plays a big role. So everybody, majority of the people believed um, in what really transpired in AKT because people coming out to flaunt the money that they collected. At the end of the day, they want the position, irrespective of the permutations you might think of, or whether some people impose uh, some people on the party or whatever, or this and this and that. Everybody believed that because... Yeah, PDP had already boasted too in Oshun State that they were going to give them dollar for dollar, pounds for pounds, and euro for euro. So all of them were prepared. But uh, I'm good. I know it's going to be a very, very rich shock because when we learned that uh, Adeleke was on the early lead, I was saying, okay, like seriously, maybe one uh, local government was at the end of the day, we found out that uh, yes, oh, this guy really won. So it is not only them, so it's going to be a very big shock to them. Very big shock at that. Uh, for the fact that uh, they have uh, boasted, they've done this. Not they didn't. Have, they never boasted for nothing. They boasted on what they relied on. If Bola Metinumbu could pull a great crowd while campaigning in Ocean State, and was so optimistic that the All Progressive Congress would retain power in the state, then what went wrong and why did they lose the election despite his boastful statements? The victory of the People's Democratic Party's candidate, Senator Adimola Adeleke, is a lesson to every politician that the people are the structures. Money alone doesn't guarantee victory in an election. The votes of the people do. It is also a lesson to Nigerians that their votes do, uh, do not count. Okay, that votes do count. We all know how difficult it is for a sitting governor to lose an election but in an era of democracy, anything is possible. The jubilation on social media is enough to tell you that the will of the people prevailed. Yes, it did prevail. There were reported cases of people rejecting to sell their votes. And there were people who sold their votes and went ahead to vote for the candidates of their choice. I believe that Bola Metinubu was only playing a mind game by dubbing other parties as mushroom parties the forthcoming general election is indeed going to be interesting wow yeah and i even heard some people some of the apc chieftains complaining bitterly that they collected money from them or they collected money from them or they didn't they didn't give them the votes they didn't vote for them they collected ten thousand naira. yes so they wasted their money for others i say structure 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 the structure not failing now uh, in Nekiti. It's fed PDP in Nekiti. Structure not fed APC in Ocean State. Hmm. Tinubu that could have won in his own uh, ancestral state, he couldn't win there. So you see all this uh, rubbish. Who are the structures? The people are the structures. Somebody was saying that uh, oh, they didn't have enough, uh, like a labor party didn't have uh, enough agents in this in the this thing, in the polling units, which is not totally true. Because if you have enough people that will vote, at the end of the day, they will be there for the results to be uploaded, just like it was happening in some areas in that ocean when the people stood against I that you must upload this result. We are not going to live here before they did that. So the people themselves who voted, I think in that uh, what is it called? The election time in 2023, the presidential election, people will try to monitor and protect their votes. I I know. Uh, like I said, I was even surprised. I was shocked that they were not, they didn't even win, but because we know we still know that uh, politicians are always optimistic, even in the presence in the 
in the in the art of failure they know that they failed already they will still be making money even now they will still be making money even after failure they will be boasting and you'll be shocked if you even yourself you are even stronger than them but because of the way they are going to be boasting and be bragging you even lose your you, they can sweep you off your feet so it is one one thing that's one thing about them they will always be optimistic no matter what even when they know that they go nowhere so that is a politician for you uh is it is it is it it's a big lesson and i could remember the day of the election immediately they told us that uh tinubu quickly left Oshun state for abuja and we said i hope they didn't want to play the same card they played in 2018 because that was how they left and before they come back again they were talking about it inconclusive i think that was one of the reasons some people stood against INEC that their their results uh what they got there must be uploaded Please, oh, I have never heard the voice of senior member of a Tinubu story. Mr. Joe Ibokwe, what happened? Ah, you must don't enter one. Huh? Even on Loretta Nochi. Oh, my goodness. I remember. So there's another person. Um, What's this man's name? Oh, Keyamo. He was boasting that what, repeat, what they did in Oshun, what they did in Nekiti, that it will be repeated in Oshun State. Keyamo boasted. He said it. I just laughed. He said, "What's the what's the victory they recorded in AKC that is going to be repeated? Whatever means, because he said that a uh, vote buying is not peculiar to only APC, and I say shame on you." Well, according to you know, regards to Joe Bokwe, he has uh, suddenly went oblivion, oblivious. APC is dead and forgotten. Don't forget that the falling off of a yellow leaf is a serious warning to the green ones. Oshun election is a lesson to all political offices, office holders who thought they could put the country in ruin and still go scot-free. May the Almighty God bless and reward the people of Oshun for coming out in mass to choose their leader. Praise God. And also, in as much they have respected and they've uh, respected the so the incoming governor. That one should be careful. I think uh, he has beginning to tell us uh, what he's going to do concerning agriculture. He's going to bring people from Zimbabwe, blah, 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 blah. So don't go and do the same thing. The way they always talk, no action. Don't want that. We want to see the governors run. We don't want to hear, yeah, yeah, I didn't know that uh, the problem was this. I didn't know that there was no enough money. The reason why you are going there is that there's no enough money. You could see that they could not even pay the workers there. So you ought to have known what you needed to do. Or what you are supposed to do for you to have enough money. We don't want to hear those a nonsense story because they always believe that a business as usual. After all, Mr. A did rubbish. Everyone did not fall. I will do the same thing. Ah, it will not go well with you. It will not go well with you. And also, the APC National Chairman, Adamu, is saying that uh, irrespective of the security problems or challenges in this country, the APC will still win in 2023. And people are saying, like, seriously? Eh? Mm. This is not boldness. Eh? No, be, no be here. No be here. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.